Hi, welcome to the first video of Navigating EC Cloud with Confidence. Navigating EC Cloud with Confidence is a series of short videos that explain how the web interface of EC Cloud is structured and what's available on the interface. By watching these videos, you will know exactly where to find whatever it is that you're looking for, whether they be settings, alerts, tools, stats, or other information. Even though EC Cloud's web interface is already very intuitive, these videos provide a well-rounded overview that can make the onboarding experience even smoother. In this video, we're going to show you the different sections of EC Cloud's web interface and what you can expect to find in these sections. So here we are on EC Cloud. After logging in, we're at the cloud level and you can see the cloud dashboard here. You can see that this page is divided into three sections, the top section, the left section, and the right section. And the top and left sections are menu bars, whereas the right section is just the content page. So we will go ahead and talk about what goes on in the top and left sections. Let's check the top section first. This shows you your current location on EC Cloud. We'll make a few random clicks here so you can see how it changes. Then you can do keyword searches here if you want to find, for example, a particular cloud, site, device, or even SSID. We have created two sites on this cloud main campus and second campus. If we do a search with the keyword campus, we can see both sites and an SSID containing this keyword come up in the search results. Then here you can check tasks. Usually tasks are related to configuration changes and firmware upgrades. And you can check which ones are finished and which ones are still in progress. To see all the tasks, click here to go to the activity page. Note that this is the same page that you can access by clicking here and just go to maintenance. Then here you can check the latest news if there's any. We will post news here when there have been major system updates or when firmware updates are available. Then we have alerts. You can see that alert was generated when the device rebooted. Similarly, we can click on see more on activity page to go to um, the alerts tab on the activity page. And you can see that besides a device reboot, alerts may be generated when, for example, the cloud is unable to reach a device. Then the next one is Link Path. Link Path offers three very useful tools designed specifically for link planning for the MetroLink product line. In case you're not familiar with this product line, MetroLink products operate in the 60 gigahertz millimeter wave band and conserve point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint -point applications. You can use link budget to estimate the maximum distance and signal levels you can expect on a MetroLink connection given these parameters that you specify. Then for a link profile, you can view links using real environment parameters by incorporating terrain data. And for link coverage, you can place an access point on the map to determine and visualize the expected line of sight from that access point. While link budget is free, link profile and link coverage both require upgrades. Then here you can see which cloud you're at and switch clouds if you like. Let's try to add a new cloud and show you how you can switch clouds. So click on manage clouds. This is where you can add or remove clouds and click Add Cloud. We're going to name this cloud Second Cloud. And we would like to enable beta features. And here you have to enter your billing information. But for now, we'll enter our email address as this is required for submitting the changes.
So now that we have a second cloud, we can now switch to it by clicking here and just click on second cloud. You can see that we're now on second cloud instead of the Edge Core University cloud. So if you would like to delete this cloud, you can go back to manage clouds and click on the plus sign here and delete it. Now moving on to the last item on the top menu bar. So you can see Cindy is the user that's logged in right now. And let's click on your profile first. Here you can edit user settings. So you can change the name, last name, and so on. Then you can change your profile picture if you like, change your email, or even delete this account. Then for account security, you can change your password at any time. And you can also enable two-factor authentication to make the login more secure. So how this works is that you have to download an app. And every time you log in, in addition to submitting the username and the password, you will have to go to this app and enter the code shown there. Each code is only valid for a short period of time. So this code will keep changing. You can just follow the steps here to finish enabling the two-factor authentication. Then you can check our company's privacy policy here or get some help. So by clicking help, you'll be taken to the support portal and you can view articles of interest. Then you can also log out from here. Now let's check the left section, which is the cloud menu. Note that this menu is going to change once you get to other levels. And to help you identify which menu you're looking at, we have also given different menus different colors. So the cloud menu is orange. But if you go to the site menu, it's turquoise. Then if we go further down to the device level, you can see that the color is purple. So no matter which level you're at, there are two items on this menu that you can find, which are dashboard and activity. But of course, the content will be different depending on which level you're at. And the last thing I'm going to show is the box here, which tells you the role of the account that's logged in right now. So this account has the role of an owner. If you don't know what are the different roles, you can check out the user management page at the cloud level. So let's go back to the cloud level and go to user management. Here you can see that if you invite a user, you'll be able to assign this user a role. You can find more information here. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. In the videos coming up, we will cover items on the cloud menu, the site menu, and the device menu. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, please feel free to write to us at ecwifi at edge-core.com. Hope to see you again soon.